Hey guys, this is Bird from Inside Outline and welcome back to another Cricut video. In today's video, I will be trying out this Dollar Tree Iron On Vinyl. This is a glitter iron on vinyl. And again, I got it from Dollar Tree for about $1.25 for each one. But in this video, I will be doing a test cut on the, um, the rose gold or the pink one. So let's jump right into the video. So first, what I want to do is to add my design. And for my designs, I will just be pulling some free images from Cricut Design Space. So as you can see, I have my canvas open right here. And I will go over to Images and click Free. So if your free is not selected already, just be sure to come over to the filters on the left side and click Free. So I'm going to pull in two images. One of them is a heart and the other is um, the little wavy text that says like mama, mom, bruh. Um, so I'm going to scroll. So this is the first one that I'll use this heart. So I'll click on that one. Then I am going, actually, it's not this heart. It is this heart. These two hearts are the same. This one is filled in and that one is not. So I'm going to choose this heart and I'm going to click on it so you can see the Cricut access number right there. And then I'm going to scroll down to find my other design. Give me just a second. Actually, I'm going to use this heart right here. I'm sorry. So I'm going to click on the three dots so you can see the access number. And then I'm going to scroll down to find the other text that I want. And this is it right here. It says mama, mommy, mom, bruh. And I will click on the three dots so you can see the uh, Cricut access number right there. Okay. So what I'll do now is to click add to canvas and just going to move this one over here. I'm going to go to combine and then click weld. And the reason I did that is because I want the entire design to be one color and I want the width of this design to be three inches. So I'm going to do the same thing to this design. I am going to go over to combine and then click weld. I will uh, then click on the design and then change it to three inches in width right here at the top. So for both of these designs, I will be using that rose gold or pink color. So what I'll do is to just change this heart to the same color as um, this one. And I want to make sure that they are the same color. I think it's this one. Okay, so then I will just click make it. And you can see uh, both of my designs right here. And I definitely want to be sure to turn on the mirror. And then I will click continue. And because this is Dollar Tree vinyl, I'm still just going to choose glitter iron on right here in my window. If you do not already have the glitter iron on pre-selected, just click browse all materials. In the search box, you can search for glitter iron on. And because my Cricut Maker 3 does tend to cut a little deeper, what I'm going to do is to change the pressure to less. So now what I'm going to do is to hop over, show you the actual uh, uh, iron-on that I got from Dollar Tree and uh, show you some of the care instructions and the overall instructions for using that iron-on from Dollar Tree. So these are the two uh, iron-on vinyls that I'll be using today for this video. Um, I got these both from Dollar Tree. And as you can see, they are both 12 by 12 inches. Most Cricut brand uh, iron-on is about 12 by 24 inches. And if you use the scissor Easy Weed, it is uh, 12 by 36 inches. So I'm going to do a test on this Dollar Tree iron-on vinyl to let you all know what I think about it. Okay, so this is the side or the instructions for this iron-on vinyl, and you use it just as you would any other heat transfer vinyl or HTV. And um, these are just some additional like care instructions and disclaimers. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and cut out my designs into these two iron-ons and then you will see me apply them to a shirt. The shirt that I'm going to be using is just the shirt that I keep on hand whenever I need to test out a specific type of HTV. So let's get into it. So 
So this is what that gold looks like. And it is a glitter gold, as you can see. This is what that back side looks like. So again, when you're using this HTV or this iron on, you will do it the same way as you would regular. You would put this side right here down on your mat and your design will be cut into this side. And this color is pink or it has a rose gold tone to it. And again, you will put this side down on your mat and your design will be cut into this side. So I am about to put this or put these iron-on vinyls onto my mat and cut out the designs. So my design has been cut into this HTV. I will say over on this side, I forgot to mirror my design, but over here I actually did mirror my design. So what I'm going to do is to peel this off and start weeding out my design. So I think I'm gonna start with the heart first. So one thing I do notice about this HTV already is that like some of this glitter is still left here, like right here. So I don't know that when I press it with my easy press, if this is gonna go onto my shirt or my material as well. So I'm just gonna keep weeding out my design. So when I flip it over, this is what it looks like. It doesn't look super good, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna weed out my other design and just sit this one to the side. So this is what the weeded design looks like. Over here, you're probably wondering like, what's what's going on? Um, well, it's because of that glitter. I'm sure I could scrape it off, like over here. But I think that's a waste of my time. And for the sake of um, not making this video super long, I'm not gonna cut the gold HTV. I'm just gonna show you what this roll gold looks like. So here are my two designs. I'm gonna zoom out or zoom, yeah, zoom back out some. Okay, so these are my two designs. Um, so let's get ready to press and see what these are gonna look like. And this is the shirt that I'll be using. As you can see, I do have a lot of different um, designs on this shirt and that's because it's just a test shirt for me um so i'll probably just you know add these two designs somewhere on this shirt um you may be looking at these designs over on the right side and these are with the printable uh inkjet transfer paper so if you're interested in printing things that have uh you know multi colors or whatever definitely try some of that paper as you can see i had three different Ones and the one in the middle looks the best. But anyway, let's pull this over my Cricut Easy Press mat. And I guess I'll put the heart right here on the sleeve of the shirt. But before I do that, I'm going to press the sleeve of the shirt for a few seconds. And as you can see, I have my easy press set for 330 degrees. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this heart. I'm gonna put it down. And now you can get a better view of what this looks like. Again, for this iron-on vinyl, I do not like the weeding process. You can see all that glitter that was left on there. I don't know if that glitter will go onto the shirt, but we are about to find out together. Okay, so I'm about to press my design. 
Okay, so I just pressed my design for 15 seconds. I'm gonna let it cool just a bit before I peel off the carrier sheet. And here is the moment of truth. I'm gonna pick it up so you can see it better. Okay, so all of that extra glitter that was on the side, it did not go onto my shirt, thankfully. Um, as you can see, all that excess glitter. This is what it looks like once it's applied to the shirt. I think that looks really good. I think that looks really, really good. And it feels good too. So what I'm going to do is to put my Teflon sheet on top of this and then uh, press down for 15 more seconds. Okay, and that is done. I think that looks really good. So I am just going to add the other design somewhere else on the shirt and press and let you know what I think overall. And while I wait for this to cool down, I just want to show you um, some of the care instructions. It says to, after you have applied your design, wait at least 24 hours before washing it and to be sure to turn your material inside out. And um, it says to hand wash with cold water and do not tumble dry. So um, be sure if you use this uh, Dollar Tree iron-on vinyl that you follow the care instructions. Okay, so I do not think that I got my heat press on this portion of the design. So I'm gonna press again for 15 seconds and make sure that I'm covering my design. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cool down now. Okay, now that looks really good. So I'm gonna just put the heat, um, the Teflon sheet over the design and press again, and then I will come back and give you all my final thoughts. So as you can see, here are the two designs that I just cut and I used Dollar Tree iron-on vinyl to apply them to the shirt. These are the two vinyls right here. I use this vinyl to make the two uh, designs. Again, this vinyl is 12 by 12 inches. On the side, you see some care instructions. And then on the other side, you have your application or, you know, when you cut the, the iron on and when you apply it, the instructions are right here. So overall, I think that the Dollar Tree vinyl or iron on is definitely worth a try. Um, especially if you're making just small little projects around the house for yourself. Um, I definitely think that you should give it a try. And I mean, it's 12 by 12 inches for a dollar and 25 cents. So you really can't beat that. So please let me know what you all think about this iron on vinyl from Dollar Tree. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.